If you're at a place at the moment where you find yourself under a lot of stress and pressure, then it means that one of the fundamental areas in your life is probably not getting enough attention and another area might be getting too much attention. So whether you've thought about this or not, most of us spend our lives in a triangle. The first point of the triangle is your home. Your home, where you spend your time with your family or friends, where you rest, you relax, you look after yourself, and you get time to unwind. Number two on the triangle is your work. So work, for many of us, is a fixed location. We get up in the morning, we travel to work, and that is the second point. Number three on the triangle, then, is what I call the fun aspects of our lives or extracurricular activities. This is the area where we we plan for our holidays, we go on holidays, we have long weekends, we can maybe choose to up-level our own skills and hobbies, learn a new language, things like that. Now if you take these three areas right and you assign each one of them a mark out of five, five being optimum, so everything is perfect, I won't change anything about this. And one, the lowest point in the spectrum, representing that I have to do something about this. Something is not right here at all. You take those three areas, you give them a mark, I can guarantee you that one of those areas at least is going to be very low, and one or two of those areas is going to be very high. The area with the lowest assigned value is most definitely the area that you will need to start focusing on immediately. So the reason that you're experiencing stress and frustration and possible many, many cases like this can lead to anxiety and depression as well is because one of these three areas are totally being neglected. And if one area is being neglected, it means too much focus and energy might be spent on one of the other areas. So a way to rectify this in order to achieve a better equilibrium and a better balance is to, first of all, identify what is the area that needs to be worked on, which now we know is the area with the lowest score, and then to consciously start working on upping that score. So we're spending more time towards making that area better. The lovely thing about this is that as soon as you start working on the area that's the lowest, it will automatically start balancing out the remaining three areas as well.